Good morning and welcome back. Uh, so, last class we were discussing about the stock system, basically stocks linear system and we briefly discussed its variation or formulation. The system we have considered was this one, you see this is a system of 4 equations in 4 unknowns, 3 velocity components and uh, 1 pressure component and then the formulation was this one, usually the weak formulation, the weak formulation was this one you see the weak formulation ok all right and this is a pressure free formulation and then once you have a pressure free formulation so you recall uh, this one so you recall this space v divergence of v equal to 0 and you have grade u grade v is equal to f e so you can apply the lax milgram lemma to prove the existence and uniqueness of u. So, the discussion what we have maintained last time, so how do we get the pressure p and where is p for that? In other words, you have a one is the strong formulation. So, you have your one strong formulation here, one prime or one and then you have your two the weak formulation. So, what we have seen two things you have to see all the time. If u is a weak solution, if u is a weak solution this is what keep on doing that is of uh, if u is a strong solution rather if u is a strong solution that is solution of 1 implies weak solution. that means solution of 2 you see that way. Now, but weak solution gives only v weak solution gives p gives only u only u in uh, v you see give that to So, that means v is in h 1 v uh, u is in h 1 naught of omega q. So, we want to show that this is also a strong a solution together with the pressure p ok. So, assume u a is in h 2 that is how you do it or c 2 whatever it is you assume h 2 of omega power 3 we have to show we have to find u satisfy one with appropriate pressure p. So, how do you do is that? So, 2 gives you can do an integration by parts uh, that immediately gives you minus Laplace n of u minus f ok equal and what is your weak formulation? You just take that weak formulation for v, v as all dot product equal to 0 for all v in v. But recall that this is what you have to know v is a divergence free vector. So, it is not the full space you cannot conclude from here Laplace n of u equal to 0. So, what you can show is that this only implies your minus Laplace n of u minus f is in v perp. So, here is a fact which I want to maybe you can see themam or something reference or some other book themam some other fluid dynamics book. So, you want I want you to see what is v perp this is a fact fact uh, V perp of course, uh, I uh, let me also keep this notation so that this is equal to h 1 naught of omega cube ok instead of writing all the time here. So, you have your x minus x prime equal to h minus 1 of omega cube 
so you have this piece. So, V per P is a subset of X prime, keep that in mind, okay, because it is in H 1 naught, it will be a subspace of H minus 1. So, V per is nothing but set of all V in X prime such that V is equal to. So, the divergence free vectors if it is orthogonal to the divergence free vectors then your V will be some gradient, gradient of phi for some phi in uh, L 2 L 2 or H 1 of omega. Okay. So, you have your some phi in L 2 of omega you see. So, you can realize all your functions sweeper functions which are gradient functions. So, this will imply then that is what you do it. So, minus Laplace n of u minus l is in v perp that implies that there exists p in L 2 of omega such that minus Laplace n of u minus f is equal to gradient of p. It to satisfy the equation you can put a minus here otherwise later you take minus here. Okay. So, that is how you uh, repair the pressure that is how you recover your pressure p. Okay. But now the first observation or a not if u p is a solution is a solution then that implies u you can add any constant u uh, u p plus c is also a solution also a solution for any constant c for any constant c so what you will eventually get is a so uh, we will uh, discuss little more about in a with a pressure velocity pressure formulation whatever given is a velocity pressure formulation. So, your p you will be looking in L 2 of omega cross p ok quotient out with r. So, there exists unique uh, finally, what you get is that there exists unique u p p is the equivalence class basically in uh, v uh, cross L 2 of omega slash the thing. So, that is what you will get it uniqueness in this space up to f. Of course, you can fix your p by demanding integral p over something like that. So, now I want to go to the other formulation I will not be giving all the details, but then formulation 2 formulation 2 ok. So, this is you can prove via Babuska Brzee. But I want to tell you something more also. Okay. So, one fact which I will discuss a little more dive and grade. grade these are the two operators coming are in some sense are in some sense a joint operator a joint operators. Okay. This I am going to see little more. Okay. So, we will go to next page and then we discuss that. So, look at this operator dive. I want to tell you few facts about it most of them. Are. So, you have your this is from x x equal to once more let me write it h 1 naught of omega cube okay, to L 2 of omega. And how are you doing that? You going to divergence of u. Okay. 
uh, and what is this one and what is the kernel of V di kernel of di is nothing but your V such that uh, that is it set of all V in X once more such that your divergence of V equal to 0. I will discuss this a little later. So, your V perp is identified with this is what we have basically used it x uh, diamond b ok. So, phi is in v perp means equal to set of uh, equivalent to. So, let me remove that this is equivalent to phi is in v perp equivalent to phi v equal to 0 for all v in v. So, and another fact integral of di if v is in uh, integral of di v is equal to by integration by parts you get v dot of nu just because di v, v is equal to dv by dxi. So, by integration by parts where nu is the normal derivative which you are using and but v is in x and its boundary value is 0. So, div v is always 0. This implies actually div is mapping from a map from x to l 2 0 of omega and what is l 2 0 of omega l 2 0 of omega where L2 of 0 of omega is equal to set of all uh, h in L2 of omega such that uh, integral of h is equal to 0. Okay. So, that is what you are seeing. So, you see the div v is always 0. So, div v is a mapping integral of 0 to do that one. So, the final fact is that div is a which you need to actually prove it I will give some hints about it div is a mapping from L 2 of omega and if you have and this you can actually prove it is to be onto we discuss little more that we have not solved that means div v equal to h for any h in L 2 of omega you can solve once it is there it will be 1 1 on 2 if you take it from v perp you see if you take from v perp to yeah that is x quotient out out by v. So, that is what you will uh, do that one to L 2 0 of omega ok you have that one is an on to isomorphism ok. So, every uh, I will discuss about on to next little more later soon may be in this lecture itself we will do that ok. So, with that let us go to your weak formulation immediately. So, so what do you want to do? So, to see this this on to this let f e is in L 2 naught ok L 2 naught and what you do is that you solve this function solve Laplacian of phi equal to f and phi equal to 0 this is in omega this you can have this is equal to 0 on d omega ok and this will give you phi is in h 1 naught that you will get h 1 h 1 you get phi is in h 1 naught omega you will get and you take. So, let me separate it take your v 1 equal to grade phi. So, then look at it Laplacian of phi 
is equal to divergence of grade phi. So, that implies your divergence of, so you can always solve for V1 equal to, yeah. you have that one. So, you start some regularity by regularity, so you can also give the regularity results we have not proved yet, we are going to prove the regularity. So, it will give you the regularity that you have to see this regularity. We are going to discuss in the next class about regularity. We can actually prove that phi is in H2 of omega. So, that means this basically tells you that phi is in H2 of omega intersection H1 naught of omega. This is already here. So, so you have your divergence of V1 equal to F. You get this one. And with V1 equal to grade phi equal in this is not necessary v1 does not satisfy the zero condition so it will be h1 of omega q that's all you can say okay so therefore v1 need not be in need not be in v perp so what do you do here now if we use this condition use integral of f equal to 0 that you have assumed. So, far we have not assumed what we have done is starting with f in L 2 you have this equation that is all, but it does not have that from v perp you have to prove that one. Okay. So, integral over v 1 over nu now okay, over boundary of omega but V1 is grade phi that is nothing but d phi by d nu over boundary by integration by parts this is equal to Laplace n of phi over omega that is equal to integral of f therefore that is equal to 0. So, it is a V1 dot nu is equal to 0 and this condition can be used this I will not the, the, this can be used to consider an equator. So, basically from V 1 we want to remove some divergence free vector. So, that it will be in V perp. So, solve this solvability I am not guessing I will discuss little more generally, but so you solve divergence of V 1 equal to divergence of W 1 equal to 0 in omega. So, I am removing a divergence free vector to get what it is with w. So, at the same time replace uh, keeping the boundary values say, say, okay, on omega and I want to solve this w 1 is in h 1 of omega power a that you can. So, you need to solve this equation with this condition as I said I will uh, discuss. Now, you take v tilde is equal to v 1 minus w 1 because you are only adding the divergence free vector and uh, uh, you get the divergence of v tilde is and divergence of v equal to 0. So, you get divergence of v tilde equal to f and you get v tilde is in h 1 naught of omega. So, you can make that 0 boundary condition by subtracting because V1 you can always add a divergence free vector. So, that you get this equation without changing cube okay. and that way you can view your dive from divergence free vectors to L2 naught is an is an on to isomorphism. So, it is a brief discussion about it. So, I will discuss little more before completing this lecture. So, I will not I do not want to take this lecture to the uh, next stage. So, what is your I will just write uh, Babuska Brissi formulation Babuska Brissi you check everything will only give you Babuska Brzee formulation.
because I need to discuss a little more in this. So, you find okay, find u in x let me recall h1 naught omega q and p in l2 naught there you get uniqueness because you are putting a condition integral of p equal to 0. So, that way you are fixing the constant and your a u v plus b v p equal to f v for all v in x and the other equation is b u v these are the your spaces x and l 2 equal to 0 for all v in l 2 naught. So, this is in that formulation. So, the exercise is you verify, verify. So, there is an uh, in operator form you can write this in operator form a u plus b star of p equal to f and yeah f b u is equal to 0 ok. So, you can verify the conditions conditions the namely the babushka Brasse condition and the ellipticity on the kernel of p ok Condi conditions ok. And you can also get estimates so maybe you have to work little more and you also have the estimate norm u in x h 1 naught of omega cube plus norm p in L 2 naught of omega is less than or equal to constant into norm of f in h minus 1 or L 2 wherever you are using it ok. As a last discussion a few more things oh, oh, uh, no no most of these things are not really complete you can refer books uh, various books on uh, fluid dynamics and other things. So, let me do little more about that just a little more uh, in the next few minutes uh, about the solubility. So, you can actually remark uh, you can can consider minus Laplace n of u plus grade p equal to f in omega f and divergence of u is not divergence equal to g in omega and u equal to 0 uh, g equal to h on d omega ok. So, earlier if you have uh, recall the non homogeneous conditions on the boundary what do you do that you solve that part first that means Laplace in u equal to f and u equal to g by trace theorem first you find a u, t, a u tilde such that u tilde restricted to g is equal to uh, u, u tilde restricted to. So, let me write here this is the same thing you are doing. So, suppose you want to solve this minus Laplace n of u equal to f and u equal to g on d omega by trace uh, find u tilde that is g on d omega and then you split your right u, u is equal to w plus u tilde and then you know that uh, w is in h 1 naught that is how you look for it because the boundary condition is always like that ok. So, that is what you really want to do it. So, you want to basically solve this equation. So, wish to solve basically wish to solve as I said I am not going to discuss a lot here divergence of you some remarks basically these are all remarks. So, you have to work it out because the details I do not have time to hear and uh, trying to really visualize uh, 
how you see uh, what do you say diverge grade are adjoint operators so divergence of G, v equal to g and in omega and v equal to first you solve this one h on d omega so what do you need is a compatibility condition so i will discuss maybe the compatibility condition later yeah so there is a compatibility condition that you compatibility condition you need this because integral over g over omega is same as integral of h dot of nu over d sigma over the boundary so you need this compatibility condition to solve that once you solve this hom non homogeneous problem you can convert your uh, problem into a homogeneous boundary condition problem with the di divergence v vectors exactly what we have discussed now okay so so these are the two things what you will be seeing each time right on one hand divergence of this what i have done here h1 not of omega cube to l2 of omega l in fact l2 of omega or l2 not so you will get uh, one one known to okay and uh, so that's what we have seen it v part that this we have seen divergence of c and you can also see that your divergence of phi is l2 is less than or equal to some constant into no more phi is square divergence of phi square is equal to oh you don't want to write the square here okay that's what you have seen it to x this will be your x okay that's on one hand but what is gradient your minus gradient is a mapping from l2 of omega to x prime that is h minus 1 of omega q this is what your uh, minus gradient how it is defined so minus gradient of v will should act on h1 not so the minus gradient of v should be in h minus 1 uh, cube so this is in x prime this is in x and this is nothing but integral over psi gradient of psi let me not use the v here so let me use some other by definition divergence of psi so the di into divergence this is the definition basically you can treat it as a definition of that one and you can see that you can compute the modulus and you can uh, eventually get you just uh, take the modulus estimate psi and phi and then that will give you your minus gradient of psi in x prime is less than or equal to some constant into Now of divergence of phi l two uh, that's less than or equal to constant norm phi into uh, norm phi in x. Yeah, that's what you want to do it. So this is what basically tells you. Uh, Uh, divergence and grade are bounded linear okay and uh, and you also have divergence of e equal to zero these are all we have proved now so you have so one more comment in that one and you so what is your range of last point so you have your range of minus gradient is nothing but minus gradient of l2 not in this one of omega 
and that is nothing but uh, your kernel of dive of V it is perp that you know all this one your kernel of dive of you know that one. So, what is the final theorem which requires a last proof? So, the final theorem with uh, that one I will stop. So, if g is in L 2 of omega. So, you have to fix the lot of gaps there. Okay. So, these are some of the ideas when you are dealing with uh, certain equation this is not that uh, uh, directly all the time you get from Black's Milgram lemma. Okay. You may have to do you have to do extra work h is in h half satisfying satisfies integral over g is equal over omega equal to integral over d omega h dot of nu then there x is unique v in x um, such uh, you can satisfying the satisfying uh, your divergence of v equal to g in omega and v equal to h on d omega and the estimate. Now, v this is in x even though it is a first order operator you what you are getting is in a second order operators only you are generally immediately derived, but here looking for this h 1 space h 1 not h 1 not space okay. uh, v in x uh, uh, satisfying constant into norm g or oh, this is in let me sorry it will not satisfy v equal to 0 this will be uh, my notes I done something else h 1 of omega q ok and uh, uh, in L 2 plus no more h norm of h in h half ok. So, with this uh, I will stop this lecture and we will uh, now we will uh, in an, an another lecture we will quickly recall not everything uh, the some regularity results with the next lecture. Thank you, thank you.